To experience all the capabilities of your Jitterbug Touch, you'll need a Google account. A Google account will allow you to download apps, back up your contacts, and more. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a new Google account. From the Home tab, tap All Apps and scroll through the alphabetical list of apps to find Settings. Tap on the Settings app, which takes you to the Settings menu. Now tap the Accounts tab. From the Accounts menu, tap Add Account. The Add Account menu will display on your screen. Tap the Google option. Next, you'll see the Google Account Setup Wizard. Tap New and type your first name. When you're finished, tap Next on your keyboard. Now, type your last name and tap the right arrow button to continue. Next, enter the email address of your choice and tap the right arrow button. Your phone will check to see if a different user already owns the email address you've entered. If so, you'll be redirected to the Chain's username screen and you'll need to re-enter a different email address. You can also see suggestions of available email addresses by tapping the Touch for Suggestion drop-down. If you want to use one of the suggestions, simply tap on the email address to select it. Otherwise, tap the Back button on your phone and edit the previous email address you entered. Then, tap Try Again. Once your email is accepted, you will be prompted to enter a password and confirm it. Eight characters are required for your password, and if you see the poor indication under the password field, you will not be allowed to move forward since a poor password can be easily compromised. We recommend that you enter a password that shows as fair or strong. Then tap the Retype Password field and retype the same password you entered on the previous line to confirm the password's accuracy. Tap the right arrow button to continue. In the next section, you'll be asked to set up a password recovery email address. If you ever forget your password, an email can be sent to this alternative email address with instructions on how to recover your password. If you do not have an alternative email or if you'd like to skip this step, tap Not Now. To set up a password recovery email address, tap Set up recovery options. Your service number is automatically populated on the first screen. Tap the Backup Email field and type your alternative email address. Then tap the right arrow button to continue. After you set up an alternative email or skip that section, next is the Google Services screen with options to have Google Services back up your contacts automatically when you enter a new contact on your phone. This can be helpful if you switch to another Android phone or if you need to reset your device in the future. You'll also see an option for communication so you can keep up with the latest news from Google. To select one or both of these options, leave the boxes checked. Otherwise, uncheck the boxes to opt out. When you're ready, tap the right arrow button to continue. Great, you're almost finished. You just need to accept the Google terms and conditions by tapping I accept. You'll also need to authenticate that you're an actual human being and not a machine. So, tap inside the text field to activate your keyboard and type exactly what you see in the line above. Tap Done on the keyboard. It may take a few moments to save all the information you provided. When your account is created, you'll see the Setup Payment Info screen. 
Payment information is required if you plan to purchase apps. Many apps, however, are free in the Google Play Store and do not require payment. Taking this into consideration, we'll skip the payment information setup. Congratulations! You now have your very own Google account, and you're ready to download apps, back up your contacts, and send and receive emails from your Google account. And that's how to create a Google account. Check out our other how-to videos and click subscribe to see more videos from Great Call. What would you like to learn next? Tell us in the comments below.